left behind Suitcase of memories That was on fire earlier. <laughs> I can't hear what you said. Then you say, go slow. I fall behind. There you go. Ah. The second hand unwinds. If you're lost, oh, look at the you can look. There you will find <laughs> like this. Look at this. Time after time. If you fall, it's I will Tyler. catch you. Oh, it's a wonderful day. Yeah. Time after time. Best of luck to both of you for the rest of your life. After my picture fades and darkness has turned to grey, watching to windows, you're wondering if I'm okay. This is just how I look all the time. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting. Time after time. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting. Time after time 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 Good afternoon, everyone, family, friends. Welcome to Camp Chichicook here in Lake George, New York. We are gathered here to join Tyler and Christy in the cherished bond of marriage. This joyous time is one these two will long remember, and they are both grateful and thankful that you are all here to share this day with them. Tyler and Christy, today marks the beginning of the next chapter of your lives <coughs> individually and collectively. Through your years of friendship and of being together, your love has evolved in many ways and through your life's journeys, we have arrived to this point where you proclaim your commitment to each other. By seeing firsthand how you two have grown as people and as a couple, I've seen what true love really is. Today, your friends and family join you on your first steps into your new life together. Today, we all have the honor of witnessing two exceptional individuals become one. At this time, I would like to invite the father of the bride, Mr. Flip Williams, who has prepared a special scripture. Okay. Thanks for everybody coming. Appreciate it. Great to see everybody. 
So I've got uh, a short story. It's only 20 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, a Bible verse and a prayer. So, but before I get into that, uh, talk a little about a short story about Christine Tyler. I've got this written down so it's easy for me. My cheat mm -hmm. notes there. So as many of you know, Christy and Tyler are big fans of the TV show, How I Met Your Mother, <laughs> commonly referred to as Him Young, hence the yellow umbrella that I was carrying. <laughs> they used to probably watch this show way too much, they probably still watch it a lot, but it's a silly comedy that bonded them together. So they even wrote Christy, and, oh, is that not loud enough? Oh, thank you. Appreciate that better? <laughs> They even wrote Christy, or Lori, and myself into watching the show. So there's one episode where there was the gang of friends sitting around, and they were discussing Lillian Marshall's wedding that was coming up. And they're all trying to figure out what should go on the list of what we should do, and what should go on the list of what we shouldn't do. And this is very similar to what Christy and Tyler have been doing for the last, the last year or so. And they're sitting around, and one of the characters who's not the moral compass of the group, which is Barney Stenson, the show. They know he's not the moral compass of the show. He says, yeah, what's that, what's that Bible verse that they say at every wedding? In a quite a, you know, sarcastic way, downplaying it. And then Marshall just starts off rolling right into the Bible verse with passion, and his heart is into it. And after he finishes, there's this silence, awkwardness to it. And the whole group looks at him and says, nah, that's not going on the list. That's coming off. And he's just a broken man when that happens. Because he just read this Bible verse, you know, by memory. And his heart was into it. And his friends just shot him down. So, these two would like me to read that Bible verse. Since Marshall couldn't have his wedding, we're going to read it at your wedding. The other special thing is this Bible verse. My father read this on my wedding day also. And so it's the connection of their relationship with this television show and of my, my, my dad reading this Bible verse on our, on our way. So it is from 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. Love is, love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. Is not puffed up. Does not behave dishonorably. Does not seek its own is not easily provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in inequity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Amen. If you would like, I'm going to say a prayer, and you're welcome to join me. God the Father, thank you for everything you have given us in this life. Your unyielding grace never fails us, as your plan is perfect. I ask that you remember all the people at this wedding. I pray for their health and prosperity in life. I ask that you remember Christy and Tyler, as they are embarking on a lifelong journey together as soulmates. I ask that you remember their health and prosperity. I ask that you remember them during the normal courses of the ups and downs through life, knowing that you will always be there for them regardless of any circumstance. I ask these things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Tyler and Christy, you are about to make promises to one another. You will find that as you live by these vows over the years, the happy times of your life will be twice as joyous because you will share these joys in marriage. Tyler, do you take Christy to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself unto her for as long as you both shall live? I do. Christy, do you take Tyler to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold in sickness and in health? Good times and bad, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself unto him for as long as both shall live. I do. This time, Tyler and Christy would like to exchange vows that they have written for each other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
I've got a really fancy sheet of paper. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's meant right. to be. <laughs> All right. All right, Christy. Um, I'll just get right into it. Um, Christy, I vow to keep doing the little things that have made our relationship so amazing over the years. I'll stay up with you when you sit. I'll tell you about my day and about yours. I'll be your biggest supporter you for the country. And I'll treat you with respect and kindness the way you always deserve to be Whether we're sitting on the couch or eating chips and traveling across the, or traveling across the country, <laughs> I've got to be your best friend. Tyler, these past five years have been the best years of my life. Every day that I'm with you feels like a new adventure. I love living this life with you, and I feel so blessed that God and the world have brought us together. You love me like no one ever has before, and have shown me what a real, honest relationship should be like. I can be completely myself with you, and you make me so happy. You make me feel incredibly loved and safe. You are my absolute favorite person and best friend. So from this day on, I vow to continue loving you, caring for you, respecting you, believing you, trusting you, and trying my best to make you happy. I vow to keep making... <laughs> I vow to keep making films together, going on adventures together, laughing and trying to love like you. And most importantly, I vow to make this life together with you the best it can be. I vow to make each day count. I love you. Before the bride and groom, Rest two glasses of Sam. As these two individuals have traveled across the country, there and back, before, one thing that always stuck with them is where they're from. Because home truly is where the heart is. Ty uh, Tyler has some sand from Long Island, and Christy some sand from right here in Lake George. And much like marriage, they want to physically represent their bond together with sand into this small, Maple leaf jar. <laughs> will now exchange rings as a symbol of their love and dedication to each other. The ring, in an unbroken circle, represents unending love and the reciprocation of companionship. As you two look upon these rings, may you be reminded of this moment and of the promises you made to one another. Tyler, please place the ring on Christy's finger and repeat after me. Christy, I give you this ring. Christy, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And that I am choosing. And that I am choosing to share my life's journey with you. To share my life's journey with you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. With the pledge to love you today. With the pledge of I give you I give you this ring with the pledge to love you today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And forever. Christy, please place the ring on Tyler's finger and repeat after me. Tyler, I give you this ring. Tyler, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And that I am choosing. And that I am choosing. To share my life's journey with you. To share my life's journey with you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. With the pledge to love you today. With the pledge to love you today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And forever. And forever. This past winter, I was helping my cousins Charlie and Danielle prepare a family dinner. We got talking about the wedding today and Charlie pointed out something interesting to me. He said that for as long as I've known them, 
they've always been Charlie and Danielle to me. Two individuals, but one entity. Similarly, I've almost always known Tyler and Christy as Tyler and Christy. Even though I knew Christy for about a full year before I met Tyler, I barely remember a time where the two of them have not been together. But for the last several years, I've had the absolute privilege of being friends with the two of you and becoming part of our own unique family. The impact you both have made on me individually, collectively, is something I think about every day, and I'm sure everyone here can agree that you both deserve each other. That you enrich each other and those around you. I wish you both nothing but the absolute best, now and forever. May you both continue to grow and be happy with one another. There are but three things we ask of the two of you from here on out. Make the best of any situation, live life to the fullest, most importantly, make it count. <laughs> Tyler and Christy, you have pledged your faith and promise to each other and in the company of two wonderful families and your circle of friends. By the power vested in me by the state of New York and by a $40 fee I had to pay through the American marriage industry so I can legally do this, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Pretty quickly. I don't know. I don't know. 
third fourth grade. Um, I've known Christy for almost 17 years now. Um, Being her youngest sister and the favorite, obviously. <laughs> you know, we had to be friends after, you know, we met each other after you know, probably a week and then we decided to do a wrestle and how can you not be best friends after that? The earliest memory of power is me and fighting over who's going to be lying to you. Very fun from Scott and Kelly. Great. Uh, growing up uh, with Christy being basically my other mom, literally calling her Mama Christy through my entire childhood, um, she has always been there for me through literally everything, mostly just getting me food because I was too lazy to get it myself, as she can attest. Closer than anything in the world, but because of that, we fought a lot. <laughs> Always about stupid stuff, you know, whether it be your pants <laughs> or um, how late you're going to school every day. <laughs> uh, Christy has always been there for me, no matter what, whether it was my boys or friends or Boys, boys, friends. But yeah, uh, we decided to move together sophomore year, and eventually he uh, was around October. He told, started telling me about Christy, and he was really working hard to get this girl. And you know, Christy went through a little period of like she didn't know if she was, <laughs> she liked him or not. Or <laughs> so we've done everything together. I have seen this man walk about sports like he's He is loving the sports. He met Christy and that's it. That's all he's talking about. Christy this, Christy that. <laughs> Never said anything to this man away from sports inside. I've heard about her, I have talked to her on Skype. Uh, she met my family before I even got to meet her. But the love I have heard, just talking to Tyler about her, was amazing. And then all of a sudden we started thinking about this Tyler guy. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. And I met Tyler over Skype. I'm like, all right, this dude seems chill. All right. Then we, then we meet Tyler. And immediately I was like, all right, this guy's my best friend. Um, we like to torture Christy, so. <laughs> Whenever she was talking to a guy or involved with him, they were never good enough in my eyes. But when she met Tyler, I knew from the beginning he was the one. Um, they used to Skype and I would talk to him and take over the FaceTime sessions and I would rant to him about my life and get advice and I honestly had never felt so close to someone I had never met in person before. I worked with them on they had all different films and all that and it was just it was great. They were just perfect together. I love them so much so yeah. I'm so happy. I held back tears there during the ceremonies. I came pretty close to tears, but <laughs> but yeah, yeah, they up to the bride and groom. <laughs> we all said that as soon as they met, she was it. That was who he was gonna marry. And now here we are. A couple of years later, they're married, like we all called it. I hope you both and wish you both the best in your life. I love you both and Christy. Tyler's been a brothers for very long, and now you're back in that fold with him. Love you both, and wish the best for both of you. Stealing my phone and Snapchatting all my friends. <laughs> so, a true brother move. So, I knew that Tyler was meant to be part of our family. Um, so, yes, thank you guys so much for just always being a phone call or text away when you're away. And just having so much fun with us and just always being there for us. And I wish you the best of luck, and I love you guys so much. I want to hug. <laughs> so, I want to say thank you for that. You've always been there for me. And I knew you guys would end up together from the very beginning. And I love you both, and that's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> when the night has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light we'll see. No, I won't be afraid. Oh, I won't be afraid just as long. As you stand, stand by me So darling, darling, stand by me Oh, stand by me Oh, stand Stand by me, stand by me If the sky that we look upon Should
tumble and fall Or the mountain should crumble to the sea I won't cry, I won't cry No, I won't shed a tear Just as long as you stand 